morning. It's early Sunday morning. There's clouds overhead, which is good because I'm going to be loading up here in a minute. Uh, I think Jeremy's going to come by for breakfast. He was a little off yesterday, so we're going to do a little bit of talking, see how he get, his gig went last night. Um, and I just wanted to talk about something because I think it's funny and it's a good um, example of perspective. Whenever I called Jeremy and Jeremy told me that um, he does gigs at this KOA. It's a really big KOA. And so he made a deal with them for a cabin for me. And he told me he got me a rustic cabin. And I went, oh no, a rustic cabin in Florida right at the end of spring, beginning of summer. Because my tent has screens everywhere. I can open up the windows and the roof has screens all over. And I put a little fan in there and it moves the air through and I put it under trees and I'm fine. Usually, especially if I get to water. If it gets too hot, I just dunk in water, come out, and then I'm fine. That's the key for me. Stay out of the sun. Interestingly enough, I also sun gaze. So um, there is an answer to that in the ayahuasca physicality stuff. I've just got to figure it out and remember it. Like I said, just like the NDE, Although I remember it all in bulk, I don't remember it in specifics because it's got to run through this human brain. So it'll be coming back to me in aha moments, just like the NDE did. I already know that. I feel it. I can see it. So anyway, so I went, oh no, rustic cabin. Now in central United States, which I have lived and traveled everywhere there, Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, um, Texas-ish. <laughs> and I've traveled around the other sides too, but I've, you know, I know the central United States people. I know them well. So when you say rustic cabin, a rustic cabin is basically uh, a, like a tent, only it's hardwood. That's it. That's the only difference. So I showed up here with trying to be cool about it. And I showed up here and unlocked the door and walked in and I just started laughing. Just started laughing. Because there's air conditioning, there's electricity, there's lights. There's not a bathroom, but the bathroom's, you know, a short walk over yonder. <laughs> On the other side of the putt putt course and beside the, the swimming pool. <laughs> and I looked around and I thought, you know... That is a good point on perspective because if you live in the country and um, or a small town, whenever you go do rustic, it means no water, no electricity, sometimes water, but no electricity, very simple. Sometimes the rustic cabins will have electricity though, but it certainly, they don't have beds. This had beds, bunk beds and a nice bed with mattresses as well. Certainly no TV and certainly no air conditioner ever, ever. Beds, air conditioning, and TV ever. And they have controls. They have controls for the, the air conditioner and the TV. Even though the whole thing is maybe, it would be a three-foot walk to do it by hand. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? From If you're in a city and you're living in a really nice apartment, this would be considered very rustic. If you're living in a small town, you're outside all, all the time and you tent camp, this would be much more like a hotel room. So, you see, it's all about perspective. How interesting that is. I, I thought it was interesting. Now, the difference is that what we want to do is we want to see that difference and smile and think, isn't that interesting? Rather than, no, my rustic is better than your rustic, because I know what my people would do. That's not rustic, that's just being pampered. And the city people would probably go, well, this is just the bare minimum. This is, this is civilized. You're not even being civilized. Well, don't do that. Instead, just find it fascinating that this is rustic from this perspective, whereas it would not be rustic from another perspective. Neither one are more right than the other at all. It's just the perspective that they're coming from. Anyway, there you go. Um, I'm going to get packed now. And I'll uh, see you when I get to Grace's. Okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.